Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I am drinking my coffee. This is the second run at this video this morning. It's uh, one of those Monday mornings. Yesterday, I was going to bring you this video, and it is great. I was going to bring you this video, but the only reason I couldn't is because I spent literally all day long at a travel baseball tournament for my 12-year-old. They did play, it was a, it was a 13 year old tournament, that, but it, it was actually a 14 year old tournament and my son's team won the whole thing, but we were literally there all the way from 10 o'clock until 10 o'clock at night. I got home at about 1130 last night, long, long day. So I couldn't bring this video to you, but I'm going to make, make up for it today because this is a good one and you're going to be glad you watched it. First, I want to give some credit where credit's due. Um, the, I, I found this video that you're looking at um, on, this is a YouTube video, but I found it on the Ripple Reddit. For those of you that have never been to the Ripple Reddit, you need to start following it because it has a lot of great posts, a lot of good, pro, really good posts to articles, and there's a lot of smart people on there. But I wanted to give credit to this person who had posted this, his, uh, their a handle is rippling dash XRP. And so you, it's still on there if you want to go look at this and read the comments. But what this is, is a, uh, this is a round table discussion where um, this lady here, um, it's called the Modern Wall Street Round Table Live at Delmonico's. So you can look it up on YouTube through that, or you can just go to the Ripple Reddit and look at it under this guy's post. But what this is, it's a collection of currency experts and precious metals experts. And the subject of cryptocurrency comes up in here. First, they talk about cryptocurrency in general. That's at about, at about the nine minute mark. If you watch from the nine minute mark for the next 10 minutes, it's pretty much all about cryptocurrencies. But from the 13 minute mark, that's what we're interested in today. And I'll get into that deeper. But before I do, I want to explain to you what this is about because um, and, and it's important that you understand what the foreign exchange market is before I go further. We've talked a lot on this channel about the speculation and Wall Street coming in and, and how all of the money that's going to come into the digital asset space, which is huge. Okay. We've talked a lot about XRP and the XRP um, use case and the use case that Ripple is going after, which is banks and payments companies. Um, we've also talked about how banks is presents the banks present the biggest challenge in, in this because there are the most regulations. And for that reason, we've talked about how Ripple was going to was going after the payment companies first. And we've talked about how XRP would most likely go live earlier and, and first with payment companies such as the money grams of the world, those type of companies before they did with the banks because there's less regulation. In comes the Forex market. Okay. The Forex market is also a lot less regulation and you need to understand that up front. Um, but first let's talk about what the Forex market is. The foreign, the foreign exchange market is the market in which participants are, el, are able to buy, sell, exchange, and speculate on currencies. Foreign exchange markets are made up of banks and commercial companies, central banks, investment management firms, hedge funds, and retail forks, brokers, and investors. Okay? So basically, the FX, anytime you hear it, you know, most usually you'll hear the FX market. That's what it's referred to. And all they're really referring to is it's a market where people buy and sell the currencies of the world. Okay. Now, so let's get back to this. So I'm going to, I've kind of summarized, I don't ever play these videos because it'll, they hit my, your, they'll hit you for copyright infringement on YouTube if you do that. And so 
I summarize what what is what is said here, and you can go and confirm what I'm saying. It's going to blow you away if you're really paying attention. Okay. When they started out at about the nine minute mark, like I said, they started talking about digital assets and cryptocurrencies in general. There was immediately a negative vibe overall about cryptocurrencies. And what they the that general vibe was that they were they were all skeptical about cryptocurrencies in general. They specifically bashed certain cryptocurrencies. I'm not going to get into that. I just want to talk about what the, what they said about XRP. But I, I do want to tell you the general theme. And the general theme, and they came out and said it, every one of them to a man pretty much agreed with this. A cryptocurrency must have a use to have any value. And they said some will have a value in the future, but if they don't have a use, they will not. Okay, that's important. And I mean, I think XRP people have been saying that all along. XRP, as I've told you many times, is the greatest digital asset ever created because it has more uses than any digital asset ever created because it's more optimum than any digital asset ever created. Faster, more scalable, all the things I've told you. Okay, moving along. You get to the, now we're going to talk XRP and how this changes mine and your lives. At the 13 minute mark, if you are only interested in hearing about XRP, at the 13 minute mark, when the, when the subject of use case and uses comes into, into play, this guy right here begins to talk. He inserts, he says, well, wait a minute. I, um, there is one digital asset that is currently, uh, on the verge of being used and it's, is working in this space. And guess which one he said? Well, he calls it Ripple. He makes the mistake that many of these people make. He calls it Ripple, Ripple, Ripple. We all know that it's XRP, which is the digital asset. Ripple's the company that is working on the use case of movement of money within banks and financial institutions with using XRP, which is the digital asset. There will be thousands more use cases for XRP, the digital asset, and that's important too. Today, though, at the 13th minute mark, this guy's name is Douglas Borthwick, okay? I did not want to just hear his name and, and tell you to believe this guy. He's just some random guy, and we're going to believe what he says. I wanted to go and look at who he is and what he knows. So I looked up Douglas Borthwick. He is, this is his LinkedIn, and it says macro rates, currencies, politics, fintech. He's in the greater New York City area. Let's go down and look at this guy's resume. Well, he went to one of the best universities in the world for his undergrad at Carnegie Mellon University, got a Bachelor of Science, Economics and Management. Then he went and got an MBA from Yale. Anybody know that name? I think so. Okay, <clears throat> let's look at his resume. So he's at Morgan Stanley for nine years. And he's the head of deliver deliverable G20 forwards and EM non-deliverable forwards. Um, and he's the, then he's, he's also the vice president of foreign exchange tra trading. Okay. Then he goes on and becomes at Merrill Lynch, the head of strate strategic trading, traded spot forwards and options, currency, interest rate products, synthetic baskets, etc. Okay. This guy is an, is a, an FX currency expert okay but this is the one other thing I, I wanted to make sure you saw does anybody recognize the name standard chartered because the, what he says at the 13 minute mark this guy knows something and it's important that you that you affiliate that you understand where he was who he has to be connected with he was at standard chartered he headed the latin america fx options and nds at standard chartered bank Standard Chartered Bank is one of the companies that Ripple is working with, if you didn't know. Okay, one of the banks. All right, um, and then he's got all kinds of FX experience as you go on up through here. But I just wanted you to understand that this guy's a full-blown expert. Okay? All right, so at the 13-minute mark, he says, first he mentions that Ripple's working with regulators. Then he says, in the next few years, he sees, he starts talking about the FX market. And he says, he mentions it at first, and 
if you're listening, he says that he see he he can see Ripple um, transactions uh, in the FX market between like sterling or the dollar and people settling in Ripple. Then he begins to get a little more specific. First, he says that the dollar right now has a two-day settlement, okay, and that's important because he right after he says that the dollar in the FX market, the dollar has a two-day settlement. He says Ripple does settlements in seconds, okay. When he saw when he said that, I knew this is huge, okay. Then he says. I see spot FX trading against Ripple, not in one currency, but in multiple currencies across the world. I see spot FX trading against Ripple in two to three years. Okay. Now, who knows? They could be doing it now. But he said he sees it on a large scale in two to three years. Then he says Ripple has a great future. And he says Ripple is supported by all banks and all regulators. He does not say Ripple is supported by some banks and some regulators. He says Ripple is supported by all banks and all regulators. Now, now that you know that a guy with all this FX experience that has his ear and nose and eyes to the ground in that business, let's go back to look at what the foreign exchange market is. The foreign exchange market is the biggest in the world of finance. The foreign exchange market is unique for several reasons, mainly because of its size. Trading volume in the forex market is generally very large because of the number of people who participate, the ease of trading as well as accessibility to the market. As an example, trading in foreign exchange markets averaged, here's your number, $5.1 trillion per day in April of 2016. That's two years ago. $5.1 trillion per day was moving through the FX market in April of 2016. That's how huge this is. This is just one time, one piece of what's going to happen with XRP. Okay. But the, and the, it, there's also this paragraph. I won't read you the whole thing. It's the benefits of you using the Forex market. And this is big too, because what it really talks about here is that the forex market is not near as 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 burdensome with regulations as other markets and for that reason that's one of the reasons that xrp will hit that market sooner than it will other markets as well i'm the digital asset investor i'm not an investment advisor this is for entertainment purposes only i hope that you will please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and if you haven't gotten your ledger nano s to it's the only way to protect your digital assets. Um, if you don't have your digital assets safely stored in a hardware wallet offline, this is all for nothing. Thank you for listening. I will be back.